TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. Okay, in this video what we want to do is create a basic real-world input to control an HMI output. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab an ex a normally open normally open contact, bring it down here. We're going to identify this as the left green push button. Hit enter. Now we want to tag this, so we split this up, make this the PLC. So we have the split screen here. I'm going to grab this knit tag that I created, drop it off at the input that the uh, left green push button is tagged to, turn off the split screen, and then I'm going to grab an output. And I'm going to give this one a name. I'm just going to make it HMI output, same as it is in the uh, TII manual. Hit enter here. Okay. Now what I have to do is I have to define this as a memory bit, okay? It's a little bit of a, a different concept. Basically what we're doing is we're creating an internal output that doesn't physically turn anything on in the real world. To do that, what we do is right click and we select define tag. And what this is going to do is put this into memory. And to some extent we can define what memory we want it want it to go into what section of memory. Global memory is fine for this. And the memory is going to be M0.0. .0. The type of memory is going to be Boolean, meaning it's a 1 or a 0. And then we're going to hit define. And you'll notice that that address came up right here, M0.0. .0. And we have now created a very basic uh, PLC program that is going to be meant to control an HMI output. So what we want to do is we'll go ahead and we'll download this to the PLC right now. Load. Allow this to go through its steps. And now it's downloaded. So what I can do now is I want to go to the root screen down here. Okay? If it's not here, what I can do is I can go to my HMI, go to the screens, and I can select my root screen, and that will open it up. Okay. Now what I want to do is actually grab an output that I can put onto the screen. So the first thing I like to do is get rid of this welcome to sign, either delete it or just move it out of the way. Then what you need to do is they have pre-made uh, pre HMI devices, such as a pilot light, and that's what we want to control. So on the right-hand side of your screen where it says Toolbox Animations, I like to expand this out and then scroll down to where it says Libraries. Okay. Now in Libraries, you have your Library Projects, okay, and then in your Global Libraries, you have the Button and Switches. These are pre-made. So we want to go to our Master Copies, and in this case what we want to do is we want to create a pilot light. So we'll grab this pile light right here, double click on it and expand it out. And in this case, what we want to do is we want to head and just go ahead and grab a basic green pilot light. So pilot light, round green. They have square ones and a lot of different things you can do here. But we're just going to grab the basic one and drag it onto the screen. We'll get rid of the libraries, put it back into its own position. We can uh, move this around anywhere we want. We can make it bigger. We can make it smaller. We'll just make it kind of a universal size, set it here in the middle, and then what you need to do is you need to double click on the pilot light. And this will bring up the properties page where we can do, we can tag everything that we need to tag it to. So this is going to change based upon that memory address that we created and tagged it as HMI output. So what we do is we come down to the process where it says tags here. We select right here to find a specific tag. Now if you have a big program, you're going to have a lot of different tags here. But since we only have really one tag that can be tagged to it, we're going to select the HMI output tag that we created. It is really important that if you get into big major programming that you select names for these tags that are different enough to where you're not accidentally selecting the wrong one. 
Okay, so in this one, HMI output, and we're good to go. So we can minimize this. You can see here that uh, it has an on and an off position. Okay, so we'll minimize this, and then we need to download this. So we click on the screen and download it to the PLC or to the HMI, and it's going to run through. Um, all of its compiling and configurations, and it will transfer it to the HMI. Once you're ready to do this, you just click Override to get rid of the existing project on there, and select Load. Now you can see the HMI getting loaded up, and you can see that the pilot light is located right there on the screen. So when I come over here and hit the green push button, this HMI output changes along with it. Now there's a second delay there for the networking to go in there and actually change it. But for all intents and purposes, that is a real-time change. So I'm controlling a display on this touchscreen with a real-world device, such as a push button. And that's how you create a basic HMI output on the Siemens uh, touchscreen using a S7-1200 PLC on the trainer created by TII Technical Education Systems. And go ahead and move on to the next unit if you're ready.